your protector of my soul You would stand against the foe In the dark you'll be a light for me O protector of my soul O protector of my soul You would stand against the Protector of my soul You who created the end of the earth Guided me unto your throne Offered your healing hands to me Mercifully made me your own Oh gracious God Good morning, Holy Spirit, for your angelic strength and your angelic protection this morning. Oh, dear Lord God Almighty, we bow in adoration unto you and we hallowed your name. Lead us through this day with hope and empowerment. In Jesus' name we pray of thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved in Christ, we all need angelic protection and more importantly, God's hands upon our lives. Remember when the Apostle Paul was in prison in Rome, he had few resources. Then the Philippian church sent gifts to sustain him and he expressed his thanks in the letter to them. Philippians chapter 4, verse 10 to 20. He summarized his perspective in verse 13. I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me. Even in the Old Testament, saints were strengthened through Christ. Most biblical commentators believe that the angel of the Lord in the Old Testament was a chiffony. A revelation of Christ. It has always been Christ, the second person of the Trinity, who has manifested the Godhead bodily on earth. Certainly, that was true in the old, in the New Testament as well. It appears, and it appears, it was true in the Old Testament as well, as it happened to Gideon who was called to deliver Israel from the Midianites, Judges chapter 6. And the Bible says, And the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon and said to him, The Lord is with you, you mighty man of valor. Gideon was a nobody in Israel. But he learned like Paul, he could do all things to Christ. The angel of the Lord who strengthened him, just as Christ strengthened Gideon. Paul and many others, he will strengthen you as well. If you call on him this morning, as someone said, the work which his goodness began, the arm of his strength will complete. Beloved in Christ, Part of the promise of protection that God has given us, we normally read, eat in a well known verse in Psalm 91, which says, For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. 
Psalm 91 verse 11. It is ion, I, ionic that people seem not to understand that they have angelic protest instead they worship the angel. Brothers and sisters, no matter where we are, God is with us. And often his presence is accompanied by the protection or provision of his angelic messengers. Angels may be the most unsung heroes in the story of redemption. Wherever you are today, God is with you. And his angels are as well as Hebrews 1.14 tells us. God will take care of you through every day over all the way. Praise be to the Lord God Almighty for his angelic presence that have come down to you and I. Have a wonderful day and thank you very much for listening. Till we meet again. Bye for now.